Hey guys, thanks for joining me for the Plus Size Back to School Haul 2018 edition. It's good to be back. I'm excited. Let's jump into it. First thing, jackets. I did not find any kind of denim, classic denim jean jacket that I liked better than the denim jean jacket I got last year. So I went with a few different things. First one is this Levi's, which is, it's a heavy cotton denim-ish material. It's not like jean denim, but it's not like shirt cotton. It's kind of in the middle. Anyway, it's sort of that military cut and it does have, it's not olive drab. It's kind of like a, a foresty version of the olive drab and it has these beautiful flowers on it. Beautiful flowers. And I thought that it kind of offset the cut and, uh, I think pairing this with something that was more bodycon uh, would be would be nice. Uh, and if I see something that uh, there's a shirt in there, I'll show you later what I mean. Maybe it'd be a good pairing. Okay. Second thing. The first time I saw this, I thought, okay, Rachel Roy has lost her mind. <laughs> but then I thought, okay, this is actually a nice twist on a trench coat. And what it is, it's like, seriously, check this out. It goes on forever. It's like this super long bomber jacket. Um, and it's like crazy warm. It's made out of like, um, it's a polyester material and it kind of really traps the heat. So this is for outside at night. Like when we go to Disneyland and I don't want to pack a heavy coat I will pack this if, if my daughter's cool with it. Um, I think I know where she got the idea from this from because nobody is doing this. Like I looked and it's not really a thing yet. I don't know if it will become a thing. I do like it, but I think she got the idea the same pl place where I, um, I saw it not really like the same actual place, but what a parent did. So I was in the supermarket and um, there was this little boy running around. I don't know, was he two? I Two and a half, I don't know. Um, but he had on his parents like a hoodie, like an adult hoodie. And you know, after my head stopped exploding from the cuteness, I realized, that's where Rachel Roy got the idea from, I'm pretty sure. Anyway, it, it, it's cool, so we'll see how it goes. All right, this. This is a Calvin Klein performance. It was on sale at Macy's. This I also, actually these two I got at Macy's. This also I got at Macy's. And I'm not thrilled with this part because I don't like anything that can get caught on anything else and like drag my daughter to her doom. But I believe these are removable, and if they're not, I will cut them. Um, but it, she looks like a cloud in this. It's the cutest thing. I love it. It's obviously for a light rain. We get light, warm rains here sometimes in L.A. You don't want necessarily a heavy, heavy coat. Um, and sometimes the weather just doesn't know what it wants to do. And when that's the case... You go with something packable and light, but protective. So I'm very happy with this. I'm happy with all three, actually. Okay, <clears throat> so last year, for pants, I had the black. Um, they were, they weren't capri length. They were skimmer length, I believe. The hue skimmer length, I believe it was a skimmer. Um, jeggings. They don't really seem to have that this year. It's either capri or regular. So what I did was I bought the regular ones and I'm going to have them, I've, I've washed them. I bought like four. This is like one of the two that I didn't wash, but I bought four. I washed two of them and I'm gonna take them to, uh, there's a tailor locally that is very reasonable. And I'm gonna have her take, oh, I probably like an inch and a half or two inches off the bottom. Uh, and I think it'll be worth it. So that's what we're doing for that. So she'll have jeans 
and um, so you can see it's the, it's the dark denim, which is very forgiving. And um, you know, this is what the back looks like. So the real pockets um, and the front, obviously it's a faux pocket, but, um, and it's a nice, the material is very nice and stretchy. And I just, they look really good. They look good on. The only thing is, is they're just a little too long for her, which uh, is an easy problem to fix. I would rather have uh, jeggings that are too long than no choice at all. So, and I got them on sale, so uh, it should be good. <laughs> anyway, okay, so next thing that I got also at Macy's, <laughs> which uh, I did a lot of shopping at Macy's. Uh, this, oh, that was really cool. Um, it also came in a gray, but I wasn't really thrilled with it. Uh, these are like yoga pants. Performance, it's an, again, it's another Calvin Klein performance. I really like the Calvin Klein performance uh, line. Uh, I haven't had a ton of success with the not performance line. But anyway, so the Calvin Klein performance, um, these are kind of like, I don't know, they almost look like gauchos, but they're, my daughter does uh, special needs yoga. And so these are really good, um, it's like yoga for the special child. Anyway, modified yoga. Um, so she does yoga and these are really pretty and it's, there's no, it's soft. So the, the, um, you know, all this stuff here, the embellishment, it's not itchy on the leg. And she really loves them. And they look really great on. So anyway, got those. And uh, very happy with it. She's, she's used them. I got two of them. So um, she's really happy with it. And uh, they look great. Okay. So last year, I was deep in obsession with LuLaRoe leggings. I still do love them. I am just not as obsessed with them. Like I'm not on eBay for hours every day looking for the perfect legging. But since they do have now the more plus size leggings, they're called TC2, which stands for tall and curvy. So I get her the tall and curvy too, so TC2. They had, of course, Alice in Wonderland leggings, okay? Like, yeah, <laughs> how can I not get those? So, um, you know, check eBay if you're interested. Uh, I wash these and then I hang dry them. You might be able to dry them now in the dryer, but there was some controversy like a couple years ago about the ability for them to stand up to washing, but um, uh, I think they have kind of solved that issue, but uh, I am a little extra careful with them, just in case, but uh, that's like, I love these. <laughs> okay, so now, <clears throat> so this is a Tommy Hilfiger top, and I actually, it's the same style of top. It's this sort of lattice or ladder trim and around a, uh, um, you know, it's like a jersey knit and it's, um, what is this made out of? It is made out of, it is made out of, uh, it's rayon and elastane. Uh, both of them are, I'm sure. This one's a navy one, okay. And this one is a, a nice print I thought would go well with, you know, like a blue jacket or whatever. Um, you know, classic denim, which almost everybody has in their wardrobe. Anyway, or it could actually go with like a black denim jacket. Either way, blue or black would be good, I think. Um, I really like these. These run a little bit bigger per size. So a lot of the shirts my daughter has are three or three X's. This is a two X, so they run a little bit big. Um, I, th this style is also made in the non-plus size and um, I have them and I love them. So I look for them for my daughter and uh, she really likes them too. 
So I, I think this is a very flattering style, a uh, very flattering shirt. And I think that it's kind of a regular thing with Macy's. So I highly recommend it. Um, I'm sure I'll be able to link something uh, down below in the box. Okay, this one, uh, Lucky Brand, also at Macy's. This one we went with a 3X. I tried getting a 2X. The, um, the measurements, and I always recommend you measuring yourself, and, and especially if you do mail order, um, because there seems to be way more choice and availability for things in the plus size uh, online. Like, I, I really wasn't happy with the selection that I went to at the local Macy's, but online, so much more. Um, this one, uh, this is so pretty on, it's really nice. It's all cotton. Um, as much as possible, I try to get things that have some sort of give in them, like some kind of spandex or elastane, because it really supports um, a more active lifestyle and it just shapes better and it retains its shape. But um, when you go with all cotton, you kind of have to go with the bigger size. And anyway, I, I tried going with the 2X because that's what the, the size chart said and it didn't work. I had to go with the 3X, but it looks great. So I love this top. It's a beautiful top and look, it's got like a butterfly down here and all these beautiful flowers. And I, you know, can you tell I like blue? <laughs> anyway, so. And uh, now we're getting to the stuff I got at Torrid, and, uh, which is always fun. Uh, this is some of the latest ones. Oh, here we go, Part of Your World. And I really like this top, uh, yes, blue. It has aerial and it's longer, so it sort of covers everything that needs to be covered if you wanna wear leggings. This is a great little top. Um, this is in a three. Uh, here we go. This one is uh, Beauty and the Beast, again, a longer one, in case you wanna pair it with leggings, looks really nice. Um, these two are not, you know, pop art Disney-ish, um, but they looked cute on and, and my daughter liked them. We tried them on in store. This one is a sort of, uh, it's like a beachy theme, shells and uh, starfish. And this one is, well, it's a beautiful color and it's about music and my daughter does music therapy and um, just sings and loves Disney musicals and is in Disney musicals at her school and you know, music is a big part of her life. She loves it. Uh, okay, next. Oh, this also I got at Torrid. And uh, in my previous videos, or at least one of them, I uh, talked about this style of bralette where it's it just seems to work for my daughter. And uh, I don't know, a few months ago, they had it in this beautiful rose pattern. And they, you know, they bring this style back every year. Sometimes it's just plain, sometimes it's been like marbleized, they do different things, but just keep an eye out for it because it really does work, it's comfortable, and it gives enough support, it's fine under a t-shirt. Um, and it works and it was beautiful. Um, whatever they have that's like this, I will link. I'm not sure if they're gonna have this same one, um, but uh, they'll have something nice for sure. Okay, so these two neck shirts I got at Hot Topic and love them, oh my goodness. I love them so much that, again, going off the size chart, the two was supposed to fit her, but it really didn't fit her well. So the three, I got both of them and I thought, okay, I'll return the two. But I got to say, I like these tops so much that I'm keeping the twos uh, because she is slowly losing weight. Uh, she has to for her health and eventually she'll fit into them. And I have them at the ready for when she does. So here's the first one. Okay. 20 year anniversary of Mulan. Uh, you'd think there would be more memorabilia out, uh, cause it came out 20 years ago in May. Not so much, but there was this beauty of a shirt and again, love it. <laughs> so this is super cool and awesome from Hot Topic. 
Um, the next one is, there you go, it's Baymax with the kitty at home. Um, I love Baymax, and the thing about Baymax uh, that I love about Big Hero 6 is that every time I see that movie, I love it more and more. There's just something about that movie, it just gets better with every viewing. It's like Sunday afternoons, let's watch Big Hero 6, I'm thinking that. Okay, um, I kind of debated whether or not to show you this stuff. I'll show it to you real quick. But this I got like months and months, I think back in January. So it's not, it's not, you know, I bought for the next season because it rained like two days last year or last season. But it's really cute. It's the pink. It was a, it's a charter club from Macy's. Um, anyway, if they have anything like it, I'll post it. But probably they won't get it in for another few months. But hey, keep an eye out. They've got some cute stuff. Target had kimonos. I gushed over them last year. Just do a search for kimonos on the Target website. Plus size kimonos. You'll see if you, there's anything you like. I sort of, uh, I lost some weight. And so the extra, extra larges I gave to my daughter. And um, I'll just show you real quick. These probably aren't available, but keep an eye out. Target, they really do fun kimonos. So this one and this one, again, they both navy. Um, they're too big for me. They seem to work for my daughter. And... Um, you know, just keep an eye out. Like I said, just do a general search. Uh, check every few months, like every two or three months uh, for Target on those kimonos. They really know how to, to do it. Okay, now for the accessories, and I have a ton of them. Okay, first things first, let's get to the backpacks and other stuff. So we always do seem to do the Jansport, and we do the, uh, I think it's called the Big Student. Now this one is the cool student backpack, okay. But anyway, the point is it has these ergonomic straps and uh, they do seem to stay on longer, um, which is nice. So, um, if you're going out and like you're going to do a, um, you know, you're practicing going out doing a, uh, Anyway, if you're just going out, uh, my my daughter as part of the class, they go out and they they, you know, they purchase things and they do money exchanges and and this is a basically it's a hip purse, you know, fanny pack, but it it's it just it sits cooler and she liked the she liked the color. Um, I'm not exactly thrilled with the plastic. Um, I prefer metal, but we'll see how it goes. Um, we'll see how it wear and tears. Um, but she liked it. And let's see here. I got her this pencil case from Macy's. It's a Kiplinger. Anyway, Alice in Wonderland. And uh, for if she wants to carry her gel pens and stuff. So she can do some art. She'll like that. Okay, lunch boxes. Um... So Le Sport Sack used to make a lunchbox. Uh, there's still a few around on eBay. Um, they were really nice. They have these lunch sacks now, but it's not the same. They, they used to have like zip up boxes. There were like little briefcase boxes and they were washable and just fantastic. They haven't made them in years. And so it's I've always kind of had this dilemma now, like what to get her because a lot of lunch boxes just I, I'm not happy with them. I'm just for various reasons I don't even need to go into. Um, hi. I did get her. I did get her a. Um, I did get her a little sports sack one. She picked it and it was okay. It was okay. But then we walked into. Um, it was, I think, a TJ Maxx and or Marshalls, and feast your eyes on these beauties. Oh my goodness, hello, Betsy. <laughs> so um, this one, she loved, uh, little coffee cups with the little hearts on them that say XO Betsy. 
And this one, donuts, which now that I found a good uh, vegan donut place, thank you, donut friend, um, I don't mind. I don't mind having her uh, carry this. So anyway, these are awesome. I can't tell you how well they hold up, but I have to say she loves them. I love them. And uh, yeah. Uh, oh, another thing about uh, these lunch boxes. These are in a different spot than the kids' lunch boxes. These are usually in the like home goods section, like where the pots and pans are and all kinds of things like that. They have like a special section for like grown up lunch boxes, which is totally separate from the kitty lunch boxes. So, and those are the more hipper ones that are probably more expensive, but not by that much more. These are like 15 bucks. $14.99, anyway, yeah, $14.99, and uh, well worth it, so that's fun, yay, put those away there, okay, um, let's see here, I'm going to talk a little bit about accessories slash sun protection, um, I'm really big on uh, sunscreen, and uh, I just didn't have it here, but you need to find a sunscreen you like. I use Epicurin. It's not cheap though. It's like 48 bucks a tube. Find something you like. I'll link it, but, and it's, you know, it's, it's vegan friendly, but you need to find something that you like that you can wear. Um, also there is issues of, is it reef safe or not? i that's a different subject for a different time. However, you can get some sun protection in your clothing and, uh, Nine West made these hats that both of them look really cute on my daughter, okay? Um, she likes both of them. And they are uh, like UPF 50 plus. So they do have a protective factor for the sun that protects your scalp, which you do need protecting on. That's a big deal. Um, so these were cute. I think Macy's sold out of them, but I think I did see them on Amazon for full price. Um, I will link it wherever I find it. And yeah, it kind of sucks that it's not on sale. However, I would rather have the choice to buy it at full price than no choice at all. So, but they look, they're just, they're super cute. I love them. Um, you know, anyway. Okay, so other hats, these don't have a sun protection factor on them, but they are super cute. Oh my goodness, look at this. Look at this. I got these on Amazon. And um, I think they are made out of recycled jeans. They have like the little pocket there. And um, they have three colors. This one, the medium denim, I think sold out. They have the lighter denim and they have black denim and they all have this sort of this pocket and it's sort of this engineer, um, this, you know, the tags there, forget the tag. Um, it, it's like, you know, the engineer's cap. Anyway, um, my daughter is, she, her hair is darker and she has brown eyes. So this one looks better on her, but the lighter one looks better on me, I think, cause I have um, blue eyes and my hair is a bit lighter. Um, so I think that, um, you know, either one will look nice. And uh, you just, anyway, they're really cool. I like them. Okay, so that's it for hats. Um, okay, so I'm gonna preface this by saying, Amazon has a ton of sunglasses and looking for sunglasses on Amazon, it's like, it's a rabbit hole you can fall down. So be really careful. Um, I have, <laughs> I bought a lot. Um, I'm gonna show you five, two of which are polarized. All of them have their sun protected, the maximum uh, that you need to be to have sun protection. So you want that in every pair of sunglasses you have is the protection for your eyes. But if you're in a place where there's a lot of reflective glare or you're driving, um, especially at certain times of the day, 
uh, having sunglasses that are not only protective for the UV rays, but also are polarized are really great. Um, basically, in a nutshell, polarized sunglasses, they're like mini blinds for your eyes. So you know how when you have blinds and you adjust them and the, the blinds do this and they let in a certain amount of light and they, and you know, otherwise they don't, they block out the light. So that's what polarization does for your eyes. And where it's a big deal is where you have a lot of reflective glare. So if you're driving and you have moving objects constantly in front of you, some and, and they have highly reflective paint jobs and chrome and so you have the sun hits them it hits those paint jobs and hits that chrome and then you see it and it reflects back in your direction so it, you get all this like multi-directional reflection that it's it's can be almost painful and, and you know and it can make it really hard to see where you're going especially at like sunset and things like that the sun hitting you a certain type anyway if you drive you know what I'm talking about um, so what they do is I'm gonna start showing you uh, I'm just gonna start pulling them out um, okay so this one this one is from a brand called Royal Girl and they have these are really cool okay so like these are really cool um, so they have one that is a matte black frame and like a dark, sort of like a dark matte gray lens. It's not reflective. And then they have this one that's reflective. These are polarized. I've used the, the matte black frame and the matte black lens one in my car driving for like more than a week. And I really do like them. I really do like them. So instead of like when the sun hits a car in front of me, um, so instead of getting this like fuzzy truffle, you know, glare coming back at me, I see more of like a, a less glare star point. Um, in other words, I see, I see where the, the light hits the car, but those reflective light rays coming at me are blocked by the polarization. So it's, it's easier to see anyway. Um, the whole reason I bring this up is, like I said, if you're in a situation where there's a lot of glare, um, you probably want your lenses to be polarized. And I know after going through this experiment of like trying different lenses and buying them, and um, I know that if I spend a lot of money on sunglasses in the future, I'm probably, I even got a hair here, I'm probably not gonna buy super expensive glasses that aren't polarized. Anyway, just something to think about. So there's these, super cool. All right, I'm gonna just kind of put them in the bag here um, as I go. These, okay, not polarized, but oh my goodness, look at how cute these cat's eye glasses are. Super cute, she loves them. They look good on her face. You're gonna notice like a trend here um, most of the time I'm going with sort of cat's eye shapes because they seem to complement her face better. Um, this one, this one, this was interesting. I don't know if you remember like Nirvana when their record went, finally went big. There was like a poster of Kurt Cobain with these, like he was wearing these funny glasses. It kind of reminds me of that. Anyway, these are also polarized. Um, and they came with um, their own carrying case and uh, a lot of good stuff. So that was cute. She really liked these. Um, I'll also link uh, Guess. The Guess Factory website has a bunch of um, these cases. Um, I think they're $12.99 each. It's nice to have a good case. Okay, so this also, I, I'm sure you've seen these. I'm like a year behind on everything. So I just saw these like a few weeks ago. These, um, these cat's eye glasses that are in the shape of a heart. They're actually, uh, there's like a, an expensive brand that these are like a spinoff of. I, I found that these seem to work well when they're in the sort of a light frame. 
So this one, this is not polarized, but it's UV protected. This is the pink frame and it has the sort of gradient uh, gray uh, uh, lenses. These look really good on my daughter. Um, I tried getting a pair for me that was tortoiseshell with dark lenses. Um, I don't like them. I didn't like them. So I think the more with the, if it's going to be novelty, make it light and fun. And this one, okay. Are these the coolest or what? Oh my goodness. I got these right after we saw um, the Incredibles too. These are like such superhero glasses. I got, a, this looks great on my daughter. Again, light frame. So it's white with the sort of gray lenses. And I got, it was a, a darker frame with mirrored lenses and they look good on me too. So I'm happy with that. Anyway, so I will link these five. I got them all from Amazon. Uh, I will link them in the, uh, in the box. I'm gonna link everything I can in the box down below. Uh, but again, you've been warned. Sunglasses on Amazon, it's a rabbit hole you can fall down. Uh, I thought these were cute. So, anywho, all right, so we got backpacks and lunch boxes and hats, and I think the last thing is socks and shoes. Okay, so, socks. I'm gonna start with the workhorse. The, these Hanes, these are men's size socks, but they're ankle socks, and they are, I got these from Target. They are 72% cotton, 25% polyester, 2% natural latex, 1% spandex. And these are great socks. I mean, these are like the everyday workhorses. They go with everything. They wash well, they, they hold up to where you can even, like I even, I'm not, I'm not recommending this, so don't blame me if you go crazy with the bleach, but I, I even can, I bleach these a little bit, but I don't put a ton of bleach in. So, um, uh, anyway, this is for shoe sizes six through 12 and they look great. I'm so I highly rec recommend these. They also come in a white. Um, and if you're in like gym class and you need, they require white socks. These also come in white. Um, but for me, it's like black socks just work with everything, you know, uh, I mean, unless you're wearing white pants, then obviously white socks <laughs> or you're in gym class. Um, but you know, the last thing you want is to, you know, be in the movie theater, your feet are up on the recliner and then, you know, you have this trapped white space <laughs> that everybody can see because <laughs> you're wearing white socks. Okay. That's just me. All right, so, uh, oh yeah, here are the white ones for gym class and white pants. Okay, um, so Hugh, I really like Hugh. Uh, obviously, I have the, the jeggings and they work great. And um, they have some socks. They have, um, they had these like, um, what are they called? They have a special name for them. They were like, yeah, roll top shorty, literally that's the name, roll top shorty socks. <laughs> So, um, and they came, they came in this, this really, again, sort of reminded me of Alice in Wonderland-ish. They're cute. Um, they are, they're like a one size fits all, which if you have really big feet, it probably won't. I have a foot that's 10 and a half wide. My daughter has a wide foot. She's like eight and a half wide. We go with nine wide shoes. Um, they just fit. So they just fit. If you have super wide feet, they probably won't fit. But the uh, the Hanes that I just showed you might. And if they don't, you can return them to Target. Uh, here's another, here's another hue and one. And like these I got from Macy's. So if they're still there, I'll link them. Um, but he will also, uh, I don't have any here. And I kind of just have them for me, but on a side note, if you're interested, uh, Hugh makes, uh, a lot of times they'll make these sort of nylon sheer socks and some of them have like a ton of stretch in them, like a ton. And uh, those fit everyone. Uh, okay, so last but not least, hold on, let me rub the box. Okay. 
So I used to wear this brand a lot, Trotters, before I went vegan, but almost everything they make is like leather. So, you know, when I eventually, when it like poured down to all my accessories and my lifestyle, I stopped buying leather. Um, so I stopped buying Trotters, but Trotters is a good brand. They make every size. And when I say every size, I mean like teeny tiny narrow to super, super wide, like everything in between in like every size. And they do 10 and a half in every size. So, um, yeah, and they make their shoes pretty darn well. So anyway, um, I have been looking for years, 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 several years to find um, like rain boots for my daughter that will fit her feet, that will not hurt her feet, that do not put her toes in jeopardy for getting like ingrown toenails, that will fit over her calves, blah, 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 whatever. There's a laundry list of, you know, conditions that I needed to meet to get shoes for her for the rain. And I just couldn't find any until now. Oh my goodness, look at how cute these are. They're not real leather, they're synthetic. And it looks like they have two zippers. This is a faux zipper, but it has like this sort of nice warm felt on the inside. And you know, it has, it has enough to keep the rain out and it has a nice sole and it's flexible. I cannot say enough good things about the way this company fits their shoes. Obviously I wish they would do more non-leather shoes. Hint, hint, trotters. I think I will hash, I will uh, address you in this. Uh, hashtags are below when I do this, um, when I post it. But um, yeah, super cute. She loves them. I'm happy. They were sold out in my size. Otherwise, I would have gotten them too. Because um, they're really cute. They're not, you know, they're not overly girly, but they're girly enough. Anyway, love them. She loves them. The only thing I might do different is that I might get like really long ribbon, like some kind of cool, maybe like black with like some little white polka dots or something and string them up. I might do that. That would be the only thing I would change. But other than that, they're perfect. Okay, so I think that's it for my 2018 haul. Thank you for joining me. And I know I don't post a lot. I'm trying to improve that. But hey, if you hit the subscribe button and the like button, that sure would motivate me to make more videos. <laughs> Just saying. All right, thank you so much. You guys take care, and I hope you have a great, great school year. All right, bye-bye.